Six foot is probably like right around here. So it's, I mean, it's tall. <laughs> Result is Yo guys, welcome back to the 717 Supply YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Before you watch the video, please go down, leave a comment. What do you wanna see from this channel? This channel is for you guys, so let me know what exactly you wanna see in these videos, and I will do exactly that. In this one, we're doing a quick tour of the F250 Limited. Mike's doing that for us. And then uh, we're also gonna check out my buddy's new Big Turbo Evo that he's working on, as well as his RS3 that just got a new AWE Track Edition exhaust, which sounds insane. So I hope you enjoy the video, check it out, leave a comment below, thanks. Now I wanna give you a quick tour as we always do with our giveaway vehicle. Right now this one is live, it's a 2024 uh, Ford F250 Limited. And if you don't know, the Limited is the highest trim level for Fords, above even Platinum. So it's better than Platinum, it's the Limited. And uh, I have the window sticker here. It's pretty insane for you. And of course, you'll get this if you are our winner. Um, but you can see MSRP $104,000. So that's not like a dealer markup or like anything. When I say we paid $104 for it, we paid $104 for the truck. These new trucks are... I mean, they're pricey, but they're also really insane. You get 1,200 pound-feet of torque. Um, it's obviously extremely capable, um, and it's like a luxury vehicle on the inside. So pricey, and I know, you know the price of trucks is wild, but you get a lot for the money. So let's talk about what we did. Now, normally the Platinums here come with a chrome grill and like a silver plastic bezels here. So it's still, you know, it's a luxury truck, but it's still... Uh, a little, not like cheap, but you know, just like all the trucks, the Fords, GMs, Dodges, they all have like little things that I think should be fixed on the high levels, like our Denali Ultimates and all that good stuff. So we went ahead and we painted the plastic gloss black to match uh, the other accents on the truck. We painted the grill gloss black, and this turned out really good. I love this front end. And uh, something a little special here on this truck, we did the emblem in matching Glacier Gray with black letters and a black surround. Normally that is chrome as well. So the gloss black looks a lot higher quality than the plastic chrome. It looks a lot better and it really goes well with this color. I love Glacier Gray. I think Glacier is an awesome color and uh, more of it is better. So that covers the paint matching. Well, not all of it, I guess. Let's, uh, I guess we can walk around this way. Um, we did the mirror caps. We did this whole side thing in matching Glacier as well. That was chrome. Um, we did the door handles in black. We did the running board trim in black. That was all, all of this that I'm pointing out was chrome, plastic chrome. Um, we did the window trim. So it's a lot of details actually, guys. A lot of little things went into this truck. It looks amazing. And if I didn't tell you that we did it, you might not notice. And that's kind of the goal. It should just look right. It shouldn't look overdone. And I think it turned out really well. And then on the back, if we can sneak by here, the C6, okay. You can see the back of the truck. We also did the tailgate, which was all chrome. And then the letters were, I think, chrome as well. And we did those in Glacier Gray. And the whole piece here, this whole plate in gloss black. It turned out really, really good. I love this truck. Looks, it looks good in here on Ben's camera, but gone down the road, as Ben can tell you, it looks really, really good. So now, on to the mechanical things that we have done. Uh, like most of our trucks, we like them a little bit higher, a little bit more. We want to add a little bit more road presence, and we did a Carly five and a half inch 
lift kit on this truck with a lot of accessories. Now, on this truck, not only is it the most expensive truck we ever bought, as it was from the factory, but we also did the most expensive build on this truck. The Carly kits are second to none. Their, their quality is insane. They do R&D on their own products. Uh, these are not thrown together kits that they make for you know, three different trucks and they adjust a few things. Like each kit is specifically made for each model of truck. And uh, you can see, as Ben showed you down there, there's no drop brackets or anything. Uh, every part is fabricated on its own. So you're not taking the cheap way out, the easy way out, um, and it's not just a spring lift or something. It's a really full kit. Like it is absolutely fantastic. And that shows when you drive it because it's a big truck, it's a heavy truck, a solid axle truck, but it drives really nice, really, really good. And then to top it off with the lift kit, we did a big wheel and tire combo. This is a big truck, it's a big truck. I'd say the hood's about Mm, you know, maybe five foot 10, you get up here, probably six foot is probably like right around here. So it's, I mean, it's tall. Um, not that I'm a tall guy, but the truck is, is tall. I mean, six foot is probably right about, right about there. Um, so we did a 37, 13, 50 on a uh, 22 by 12 wheel. And it gives you that really good stance without being too stupid. You know, your wheels aren't out here, like outside the truck. Um, it's got a little poke to it. It looks aggressive, but it's not, ridiculous, it'll fit anywhere. I can park it in normal parking spaces. And also, we didn't do like a rubber band tire, which we know you guys don't like, um, which I don't like either. I don't like when tires on trucks are like this big or even like this big. Um, now, some people think even this is too small. They think this is too much wheel. I mean, I guess if you really like an off-road setup, you want like an 18 or a 17 with a 38 or a 40 on it, and that does look good too. But this is a really good mix. It's a thick sidewall. It rides great. It's got good tread. You can off-road. Um, you know, it's not, a, it's not a street mall crawler setup. You can still do whatever you need to do with this, whether it be towing, off-roading, um, or just driving on the highway for a road trip. Speaking of road trip, wouldn't it be nice if you were on a road trip and you could have your back massaged while you're driving along? Well, you can in this truck because it's got the massaging seats. And sorry, we're kind of walking around the truck here. I'm sure Ben will overlay B-roll. Um, but the interior of the Limited is just amazing. And I'll turn off the uh, Ford chime here. But you get these diamond stitch seats in blue and gray, uh, which I love the color scheme. It goes really well, especially with the glacier gray color of the truck. Um, but it's just nice to see an interior that's not brown or black. You know, every interior on every truck is brown or black. And this one, when I opened the door and saw blue, I was like, wow, that's really, really nice. And, and a change, you know, it's different but it works really well. It's dark blue, you got gray, you have like a gray stitch and you have carbon here. So it's a mix of a lot, diamond stitch, leather, carbon, and it just comes together really well. And yes, the seats do massage you. Um, there's a whole system and you can have like 20 different massages with these seats. So it's pretty incredible. And they look like a first class airline seat. I mean, it's absolutely not. So um, what else? The ceiling is full Alcantara. You get the full panoramic roof. And I, I think that's about it. I mean, you guys know it's got heated and cooled seats, all the features like that. I don't even have to talk about it, but it's really got just a lot in there. I mean, I don't know what else, honestly, I don't know what else you could want on a truck and it's got the bed cover as well, which you guys like. So that's pretty much it. A quick tour of our brand new 2024 F-250 Limited $104,000 truck. We put about, put about 15 grand into the modifications and you get 50 grand on top. So not only do you get the truck, you'll get this truck in your name, free and clear, you get the title in your hand, uh, and you get 50 grand on top of that. So you're getting a pretty big value with this one. I'd say about 170K-ish with this truck and setup. And our last winner, I think actually our last two, bought one shirt and one, and that's literally all it takes to win. So you could buy a shirt, a key tag, anything over there, anything in this building, you buy it, you get automatically entered to win the truck and it's a $170,000 value, the truck and the 50 grand. So check out the website and hope you enjoyed the tour. All right, CJ starting the Evo.
like you try to back out. Will it just stall? It'll stall. CJ's Evo 8? Evo 8. Oh, wanna, five wanna MR. Tell us about it. Uh, it is, so it's an 05 MR. Um, got it in a fair amount of pieces, and now it's less pieces. <laughs> Still some pieces. Still some pieces. Stock motor. Um, well, stock bottom end. Uh, it is tuned on E. Precision turbo 6870. Okay. Uh, which is a 70 millimeter turbine. Yeah. Um, it has a sheepy twin scroll manifold with those dual uh, hood wastegates. Yep. Those are 40 millimeter turbo smart wastegates. Um, it has AMS intercooler, uh, STM intercooler piping, HKS blow off valve, and pretty much just like a kind of generic straight pipe out the back. And I just got those wheels done. Those are NK RPF ones. So those are the 18s. Those are the non-concave. Yeah. Um, but those are powder coated in uh, neon yellow. And they're on the Dunlop Sport Maxes. Haven't really done too much driving yet. Uh, they just got the coilovers done. It, it still needs it needs another alignment since the coilovers have been on. But it has Fortune 500 coilovers. Um, yeah, let's go. They Walk seem to over. ride. <laughs> freaking awesome i do love them yeah that's um, uh, did you get them from jeff cygnus or whatever his name is you know what i'm talking about yeah the... i got them from fortune Fro oh okay, fortune okay. Auto. yeah okay. gotcha um it has the stm stop kit on it which are stop tech stop tech slotted rotors yep. and stop tech ceramic brake pads okay okay that's really that's kind of it as far as the build is concerned so far yeah as far as the big stuff right um it's so, a labor of love. Yep. Still need some things, obviously. Clearly I need... got most of the trim back on. Okay. I still... These are the only trim piece that I don't have on yet. Gotcha. Those clips are super hard to get. Mm. <laughs> I'm finding very quickly that they do not make a lot of uh, parts for these anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's not surprising. So, it's pretty tough to find things that you need. Yeah. Especially when they're OEM. Right, right. So... <laughs> Like floor mats, can't get floor mats anymore. Nobody makes them. Really? Got them. No yeah. one. Yeah. Not even like Tux Mat or one of those all weather brands or anything. Not no one. No one. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, and power and torque. So right now it is tuned to 490 okay. um, horsepower. It's like three it's like 325 torque it's not a, it's not oh, a huge okay. amount you gotta rev it out you gotta you got yeah it yeah. so i only have the way that the tune is set up right now for this turbo my power band is between 4500 and 6500 <laughs> very small <laughs> yeah. but that's just to save the motor yeah so, okay it, it does have a built five-speed transmission uh -huh. so these these mrs come with a six-speed stock but uh, this one has a swapped out five speed from a GSR. Okay. And it has a, it was it was fully rebuilt and it has a uh, taller final drive. Okay. So I don't know what the top speed on it now is, but it's more than what the standard top speed would have been. Sure. So I haven't had it quite up there yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, slick little project car. Yeah. Are we taking it out for a ride or? We can take it for a ride. Okay. It's a little sketchy, but. <laughs> <laughs> what well, looks sketchy? I don't know how it rides. Does it, it ride sketchy? It rides super nice. Okay, yeah. okay. Because I just had, uh, I had, I mean, the whole suspension's redone, of all new steering yeah. in the front. Yep. Um, it has all new bushings, all new oh, okay. everything in the front. Yep. So, the only bushings that aren't touched quite yet are the um, rear drive shaft and then the rear control arms, which I still need to do. But, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. So. Very nice. Yeah. CJ hasn't driven it that much, he Ooh, said. The sprayers work. Oh, the sprayers work, yeah, okay. Maybe. The windshield was filthy, so we're good now. We're gonna be <laughs> able to see. I saw that guy has a nice looking S or E3. Yeah. He's got it in like the top spec though. <laughs> it's like you could have bought an S3 with how much he spent on it. <laughs> you could have got like a 29 S3 or yeah. 2019 S3. Yeah. Love the sound. that supposed to sound like that? Uh, not exactly. Oh. Yep, yep, okay. Got a tricky clutch. It is a, oh, my, I can't say that, I guess. 
It has a stage four clutch. Oh, we got the little stu -tu -tus. Oh, yeah. I like that noise. HKS. Okay, that's what that is. A little yep. bit of rub. A little bit of rub, not a lot of bit of rub. We don't have a lot. We dialed in just enough to rub. Okay, we like that, that's perfect. <laughs> Okay, now we have the 8Y RS3. CJ here just put on it's the AWE track exhaust. The AWE track exhaust, which means that there are zero resonators, or what is it? What is the track versus the touring? So the they don't have a touring for this. All they have wow. is the switch path and the track. Okay, so, so the, the switch, switch path, path. Yep. That is the track exhaust with a valve actuated muffler in the back. Okay. A single muffler. Okay. Um, so this is just that muffler deleted. Is all okay. It is. And this car has Unitronic res deletes. Oh, so, so that still stays in place. Yeah, with... I, I kept mine in place. Oh. So this is a little bit extra louder. Oh, okay. So this okay. is a three inch straight pipe from the cat back. Now. All right. Yeah. So the five cylinder, see how she sounds. All right. Cold start. Go ahead. vibrating the roof. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hear a little turbo noise. A little poppy. This sounds completely different from the last time oh, yeah. that I heard it. Yes. Uh, last time, I don't know if any of you know what these sound like stock. They sound like Dyson vacuums or something. It's really sad that they have the five cylinder and you can't even hear it stock. And you had the uh, upgraded from the factory. I had the sport exhaust. Sport exhaust, yeah. exactly. Yep. So even with the sport exhaust, this thing stock is extremely quiet. But right now you can even hear the turbo spooling as uh, the revs came down there at idle. So this is a completely different car. And it also now weighs 39 less pounds. That means good. that's that's good. Yes, less weight is always good. Yeah. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds so good. Yeah, it didn't pop or anything before. At least that I don't remember. I don't remember. No, it did. never popped ever. Yeah. So this has the DSG um, compared to a lot of the other Audi. looking at this thing what's the problem grill these things so today we have these bad boys abs plastic baby straight from china you know how we do it double-sided tape super easy so we're gonna cover up the chrome in the front of course i have been deleting all the chrome on the car probably gonna do carbon fiber mirror caps but i did all of the trim 
It is all blacked out now. Looks so much better. Once again, looking in the back here, got the black badges. Uh, this was chrome before. Change that. That's all looking good up here. And of course this as well, black that out. So last thing left to do is the front grill, which I have, and this little lippy boy down here. And then these, they look like fog surrounds. These aren't fog lights, they're actually sensors for the adaptive cruise, I believe. So we are going to do a super easy mod today and replace the little surrounds. And the result is, that actually looks really good. Fitment was fantastic. A little side angle here. There's no silver showing. Now I just used the tape that it came with. Hopefully it holds up. It seemed to be sticking on there pretty well as I was mounting it. So, you know, I think it'll be all right. Let's back up here. I'll compare the two. Now it's gonna look much better when it actually ties in with the front bumper. You know, the, the silver kind of matches right now. Of course, it's gonna look a little funky with just that little black piece down there. But overall, once it's done, it's really gonna come together. I think it's gonna look great. All right, finished, final result. Oh yeah, looks great, man. I'm really happy with it. Just hoping that tape holds up. If it doesn't, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. The whole thing's not gonna fly off all at once. I can just pop it off, put some new 3M tape on there and be good to go. But man, I'm happy with this fitment. Like I said, it was only like 30 bucks for these pieces, which you're really not gonna be able to beat. I mean, you could do wrap or you could replace the whole, you know, like bezel in the aftermarket, but Super easy to do, why not, right? So next thing is going to be the front grill, then lowering springs, and then wheels. Actually already ordered some wheels. They're top secret for now, but they're gonna be 19 by nine plus 25, and they are fully forged. So they're gonna be, uh, they're actually getting made, they're custom made wheels. So they're getting made right now. Should be a couple weeks for those. Gonna get uh, lowering springs, because I do want to retain the dynamic chassis control. I think they call it DCC on this car, I'm not sure, but uh, it's the adjustable suspension. So I can go from like comfort to dynamic, so like soft to firm. So I do wanna keep that, so that's why I'm not going with a full coilover. Just gonna go with a moderate drop, get a little bit more negative camber up front and back naturally. So that's gonna look really good with 19 by nine and a half. All right, guys, so that's it for this video, but there is one more thing I wanna talk about. We are running 100 times entries right now, and it ends in just four days. So that is your very best shot of winning the truck plus the $50,000. The truck's getting washed right now, that's why it's not here. We do have a bunch of new key tags. I think we just got like 25 in or something like that, but this is gonna be your cheapest and your easiest way to win. We have had people win, well, not necessarily easiest, but this is gonna be your cheapest way to win with the 100X. We have had people win off of buying only key tags before. We do have the new tumbler. This thing is awesome. It's like a, a bluish gray. It is the newer version of this tumbler, which we still sell. And of course we have the Trump duck making bath time great again. So check it out guys, bunch of new t-shirts, full line of de detail and supplies. So everything you could possibly want, 717supply.com, go get entered.